Breaking, Kevin McCarthy scheduled vote to oust Liz Cheney for this Wednesday. Hello, folks. My name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom. And today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of The Hill. And it says House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy said Monday that he has officially scheduled a vote for Wednesday to oust GOP chair Liz Cheney from her number three leadership post. The widely anticipated vote will take place behind closed doors and by secret ballot. It comes as Kevin McCarthy and his pro-Trump allies have been plotting Cheney's ouster for the past two weeks as she has continued to condemn former President Donald Trump and his claims that he has done up to this point. Kevin McCarthy and other Republicans have argued that Cheney's comments at a news conference in media interviews and op-eds has knocked the GOP off its message at the moment when the party is trying to unify and win back the House in next year's midterms. Cheney, one of 10 Republicans who voted to impeach Trump, has called this moment a turning point for the GOP and said that refusing to stand up to Trump's lies could lead to more violence in the future. So Kevin McCarthy said in a letter to GOP colleagues, he said, quote, It has been my hope that our driving focus would be taking back the House in 2022 and implementing our commitment to America. Despite the mainstream media working overtime against us, I believe we still have a great chance to do so. Unfortunately, each day spent relitigating the past is one day less that we have to seize the future. So he went on to say, quote, It's no time to take our eye off the ball. If we are here to succeed in stopping the radical Democrat agenda from destroying our country, these internal conflicts need to be resolved as to not distract from the efforts of our collective team. He finished off by saying that having heard from so many of you in the recent days, it's clear that we need to make a change. As such, you should anticipate a vote on recalling the conference chair this Wednesday. It says that Trump, McCarthy, and minority whip Steve Scalise have all already endorsed Representative Elise Stefanik, Republican of New York, a key Trump ally to replace Cheney as conference chair once she successfully ousted. Some Cheney allies accused Trump, McCarthy, and others of trying to cancel Cheney for holding opposing views. But McCarthy tried to push back on that narrative, suggesting that descending views are fine as long as they don't undermine the broader goals of his leadership team. So McCarthy said in a letter, quote, we are a big tent party. We represent Americans of all backgrounds and continue to grow our movement by the day. And unlike the left, we embrace free thought and debate. He finished off by saying, quote, All members are elected to represent their constituents as they see fit. But our leadership team cannot afford to be distracted from the important work we are elected to do and shared goals we hope to achieve. The stakes are too high to come up short. I trust we all agree. So that is what's going on right now, folks. We've been following this since the very beginning. Kevin McCarthy finally has had it with Liz Cheney, and she is on her way out. Her state already censored her. They tried to kick her off at the beginning of the year, but they weren't successful. But now more Republicans' eyes are open to Liz Cheney, what she has done up to now, and just, you know, the history of the Cheney family. People are starting to wake up that, you know, before would have supported her. Just like there was a change of heart with McCarthy. At the beginning, he wanted to protect her. At any cost, he did not care. But as he started to see how the actual grassroots think of Liz Cheney, now McCarthy has changed his tune. And many other Republicans are following suit. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Will Liz Cheney get kicked off from conference chair, from her position as conference chair? And will 
Elise Stefanik take over? Let us know in the comment section below. As you guys probably know, and we reported here at Golden State Times, former President Donald Trump has already endorsed Elise Stefanik. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. We want to know your comments, your opinions, your suggestions. Sound off in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe and click that bell. Also, make sure you visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com, and you follow us on Twitter, and you like us on Facebook. But if you are on Parlor or Gab, make sure that you guys follow us at Golden State Times. Once again, check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com, for all of your latest headlines, breaking news, scoops, politics, and everything else in between. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and you click that bell. But la last but not least, make sure you click that thumbs up button, folks. If you click that thumbs up button, you help us beat the YouTube algorithm and more patriots are able to see our reports. Thank you so much and we'll see you guys on the next one. My name is Jen Goldstein. Peace.